I found this level in the Quality Bridge 2 workshop, and it was very simple, but the description said to over-engineer it. And engineering is kind of the thing that I do, so I over-engineered it. I ended up making three over-engineered designs for the level. But before that, I started by making a very standard and basic drawbridge to get a feel for the level. For the first over-engineered design, I wanted to make a bridge that would curl up into a semi circleish shape in order to allow the boat to go underneath it. In order to make this work, I needed to make it so each of the ends of the bridge could move so that it won't just fall apart when it changes shape. So I made arms that would attach to each end of the bridge. But in order to keep the bridge from rotating more around one arm than the other and then falling down, I needed to link the movements of both arms so that there was no way for them to move independently. I achieved this by creating a straight line linkage that was connected to each arm in an identical way, so that when one arm moved, it would force the other arm to move in the same way. This allows the bridge to stay upright even when it changes shape. I then tried to have it make the semicircle shape by expanding the top supports of the truss, causing the bridge to bend into the shape, but it was very difficult to keep it from breaking. I ended up switching to bottom supports and contracting the bottom supports to create a semicircle shape, which turned out to work well. For the second over-engineered design, I wanted to make the bridge get pulled up from the middle and wrap around the boat. I started by making a straight line linkage in the middle to allow it to be lifted up straight. I then figured out where I wanted the end of the middle road to end up and set up a rotation point for it. When I was setting up the rotation point for the second road, I found my way of doing it to be very unstable and ended up looking like it lined up with the middle road anyway, so I connected them together. After doing the next road, I was having trouble making the last two roads rotate upside down, but then I eventually got it to work by making weird triangle things connected to them. After I got everything working, the bridge was having trouble connecting back up to the sides and I didn't feel like fixing it, so I made little ramps on the sides for the Vespa to enter and exit the bridge with. For the final over-engineered design, I wanted to make each half of the bridge rotate 90 degrees and squeeze in as close as they could to the boat without getting hit. I started by constructing the straight line mechanism that would move the bridge close to the boat. Once it was built, I attached roads to it and constructed the mechanism that would rotate it. Because the road was moving when it was rotating, I had to extend the straight line linkage so that there would be two anchored movements for the hydraulic to use. I then duplicated the bridge over and it was done. So here's the three over engineered designs results. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you.